Brother Sister Man, how you doing? It's Brother Wisdom. I know a lot of you guys are like ready. He said, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready to go fight. I'm ready to fight this, you know. I want to talk about discipline. I think I've talked about this one time before. But I want to um, talk about discipline. In order to have discipline, you must have patience. You must be able to control your emotions. And I talk about this a lot. Your emotions, controlling your emotions, making yourself emotionless, making yourself um, open for true power. See, this discipline is not all about going out, picking a fight, and saying that I'm going to use inner peace, I'm going to pick this fight, I'm going to use, use inner, 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 inner peace. Discipline is all about being able to know your battles. Discipline is being one with the cosmos. See, the cosmos is one with itself. It's one within itself. So it's all about discipline. You know, you do your Tai Chi, your yoga, your meditation, you get your chance going on. Discipline is all about being your surroundings, just like the cosmos. The cosmos is its surroundings. The cosmos is energy. Cosmos is the surroundings. And this is what discipline is all about. So, I see so many of our people, first thing they want to do is pick up a gun, pick up a weapon. They have no discipline. They have nothing that's going to control their inner man. They're all out to want to show how much power they have by displaying weapons and clothes and positions, money. See, these are und undisciplinary actions. The word discipline in this manner means to control yourself, to have total self-control, to, to understand who you are. That's why you go into meditation you know that there are no limitations when it comes to you. But you must limit the way you control yourself in an uncontrollable manner. Discipline knows how to walk away from a battle and discipline knows how to control the battle. But the first battle must begin with you so many of us have issues within ourselves and we want to take them out on everyone else. Yeah, these Caucasians are killing our people left and right. They're killing our people left and right. They're acting um, auspicious. They're acting, becoming officious, officials, officiously um, indigent in the, the manner of we're going to control everything because we have this law. Let me tell you one thing about the law. Let me tell you one thing about the law. The law is like this string right here. The law is like this string, okay? <clears throat> is puny. It can be controlled. The law can be changed up into any form that they want to change up into. That's why the law is an illusion. Alright? You see that? The law it's like this string. Alright? 
change it up, create loopholes. And those who practice in the law do not have any discipline because they have been trained to say that or to think that I am the most powerful on the land because I am a part of this law. But because this loophole creates other loopholes and that loophole creates more loopholes, the law kind of like unravels itself. All right? So that it won't get tied up within itself. Feel me? So, just looking at the string and the law, which means that the law has no power because it has no discipline, it can't be controlled. Yet it controls those who practice in it. Within the cosmos, there's control. There's discipline. You don't have to worry about this with the cosmos. See, because the cosmos is like this. Here's the cosmos. And you know that within the cosmos, <laughs> there are no boundaries. The cosmos is always the same. It doesn't create loopholes. It doesn't nearly get tied up in its own. Cosmos is just what the cosmos is. And this is discipline. Can you see that? The cosmos is just like this. You know, instead of like this. The string is puny. Now let's look at the law compared to the cosmos. Can you see the comparison? Hmm. There is none. So the law was created and it sits right there. While you have all these other cosmic laws that revolve. And this is a whole part of discipline, learning the cosmic laws. Learn the laws of nature, learn the laws of, of the universe, learn the laws of the galaxy, learn the laws of self, laws of preservation, the laws of life, laws of love, laws of respect, laws of, uh, of compassion, you know. So it is important that you tap into yourself so that you have discipline now. Those who control or call themselves control the law and enacting in the law, when confronted with them, you pass them energy no matter who they are. You pass energy. Because discipline says, these are cosmic laws that I follow. And cosmic laws tell me that I should not be controlled by those who enact the law that was never created by the cosmos from the beginning. So you gotta understand this right here. Mankind was created not to unify. Mankind could never unify. Mankind was created to divide. Man was created to unify. We people are melon are man. These Caucasoids are mankind. They were not created to unify. I see them coming on YouTube channel all the time, you know, talking this and this and that and that and that. They were not created to unify. And even if they try to unify, they can't do it willingly or purposely or because there's no discipline in them. Discipline is all about you being in control of your surroundings knowing when to move, where to move, and how to move. And at the same time, being in total control of yourself, your surroundings, and in total balance with the cosmos. Those who enact the law 
and act on fear and hatred and anger, power struggles. I'm gonna grab you and gonna you know do this right here. I'm gonna come over here and 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 the, this law said you pulled a supposed to uh uh abide by these rules and if you don't abide by these rules and if you run from us I'm gonna run after you and I'm gonna catch you and I'm gonna beat you down and then I'm gonna put you in a jail cell and if you die you just die is there any discipline in that no discipline is when you are approached and you says what laws of the cosmos requires me to follow your laws I follow planetary laws what laws do you follow I follow this law okay the follow law of mankind the draconian law the reptilian law okay I understand this you want to give me this okay up hmm. see discipline tells you to have inner peace and to pass on energy that's what discipline tells you and whatever happens in that energy, it's not your fault. Because what happens is this energy that's passed on is going to uh, create an energy inside of whoever wants to um, oppress you. And this energy is going to do whatever is going to manifest itself in whatever form. Whether that person freezes up, whether their skin melt from their bodies, whether they can change completely and walk away, whether they commit suicide in front of you. You know, it doesn't, you know, it's wherever they are, spiritually, mentally. So that energy just manifest will manifest itself within them but you must remain in discipline inner peace inner balance it's all about discipline it's not about going out there and going to battle because those who are disciplined don't run to go to war those who are disciplined let the war come to them and they allow the nature around them to settle it. Nature settles everything. There's no law on this planet that is more powerful than nature. There's no law on this planet that's more powerful than the cosmos. Remember, and I'll do it again. Here's the cosmos. And these are the laws of mankind. You see the difference? Laws of mankind. This little string right here. Laws of mankind only go this far. And you can only go from end to end. End to end. The cosmos is this big. But what happens with the cosmos is it expands even bigger. All right, feel me? It expands even bigger and expands even greater. It's cosmos. Feel me? So, being one well with the cosmos means that you must know how to mature within yourself and grow. And remain in discipline and power. Laws of freedom. Laws of choice. You know what I'm saying? The laws of growth. The laws of expansion. It's all a part of discipline. The disciplinary actions of the cosmos. Discipline means to be controlled. But I'm saying that this way you control yourself and you don't allow the emotions of someone else to control you because someone is mad at you doesn't mean that you have to be mad back with them because somebody wants to kill you doesn't mean that you have to kill them too.
It only means if someone wants to kill you, that it only means that you have to send energy to them to make them think twice. If they want to be mad at you, you have to send energy to them to make them think twice. Discipline is being able to think quick. Discipline is, is, is being able to act not erratic, but act um, according to the nature. This is what discipline does. Keeps you in a balanced state of mind. Where you're able to exert wisdom, knowledge, and power all at the same exact time. It's not about being able to run and get a gun, knife, wanting to beat somebody up. It's all about being one with yourself in the cosmos. And those who come around you will respect that because the energy will make the difference. And they will fear that with this, which is within you more than what they will fear that will be on the outside of you. See, the greatest warrior alive is he who knows that he is the weapon. All right? That's the greatest warrior alive. When he knows that he is a weapon. Or she. <laughs> Sorry, uh, sisters. But this is the, the greatest warrior alive. And because you know that you are a weapon, what does a weapon do? A weapon sits and waits until it is it needs to be operated. A weapon just don't go out on his own and blah 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 blah. A weapon sits and waits until it's ready to be operated. And then that's when it exerts true power allow the cosmos to operate in you allow nature to operate in you first gain discipline meditation tai chi yoga eating nothing but vegetation listen to frequencies instead of music Becoming one with yourself and the nature around you. Becoming one with your family. Loving your children and your wives and your husbands. Your family members. And not being able to exert knowledge and wisdom. It's all a part of discipline. The disciplinary measures of life are so great. Unlike the law. That little string that goes from one end to the other. That's all the law does is go from one extreme to the other. That's all it does. It's not like the cosmos. Well, the cosmos is great and powerful. And it moves according to nature. It moves according to energy cosmos great and powerful on any plane cosmos learn discipline my people sit in meditation seek after the knowledge of the ancient ones seek after the knowledge of power the knowledge of respect the knowledge of of how to be the weapon that you're supposed to be. When the time comes, we as a weapon will strike. And when we strike, there will be nothing that will be able to stop us. But first you have to learn discipline. There will be nothing whatsoever 
that will be able to stop us. Remember, in true discipline, you alone can destroy a thousand of in front of you because they are so full of emotion. I'm going to exert this law. I'm going to make you surrender to the law. I'm going to make you um, obey this religion. I'm going to make you uh, obey my commands. Where's the discipline? Anytime someone wants to force you to do something that's against the nature of the cosmos, they're out of balance. And because you are in full balance and discipline, you as a weapon have the right to strike. But remember, all of your powers are not physical. All your powers are spiritual. The nature around you is your weapon. But you must have the discipline and balance within yourself, the peace within yourself, so that you won't fall victim to something that has never existed from the beginning of time. A law. A law so puny and small. A law that has to be manipulated and create loopholes just to make things work in their favor. A law. I wish this could get to a lot of our people so that we'll learn discipline. I'm going to do a meditation thing later on. And I'm going to post it on here and so you guys can meditate. I hope you guys are going to be here Tuesday. Um, 9 p.m. Eastern, 8th. Uh, Central, Seven Mountains, Six Pacific, so that we can go ahead and um, do the second session of this uh, negative energy mass meditation. Remember, discipline is the only way that you defeat every enemy that you're going to face, because within discipline is inner peace and inner balance, and you can destroy armies from the power. That comes from your hands. From the power that comes from your hair. The power that comes from your heart, your mind, your mouth, even your nose. <laughs> That's discipline. All power to the multi chakra people, Miller, and peace to you all. <laughs>